We are leading by a lot, but you have to go out and vote. That is former president and current Republican frontrunner Donald Trump at a rally in Iowa earlier this week. His polling numbers among Republicans are still around 50 percent, despite being embroiled in several lawsuits and criminal charges tied to January 6th and his business dealings. Which brings us to what's happening in Augusta right now. Several people are petitioning the Secretary of State to keep Trump's name off the ballot for the Republican primary in June. News Center means Jack Mulmud tells us why they're doing it. So normally this time of year in the State House, things are still relatively quiet, but through these doors right here is a debate not only happening in Augusta, but around the nation. The state has the authority to keep unqualified candidates off the ballot. Uh, you may not have seen him in any of the Republican debates, but a new debate stirring here in Maine and around the country over whether former President Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election should disqualify him from running in 2024. What the challengers are asking you to do is something that uh, no secretary in the country, no election official has done. It. it was such a heated debate in the morning that both sides couldn't even agree on what evidence to use. Eventually, Secretary of State Shanna Bellows allowed evidence from January 6, the day Trump followers stormed the Capitol. Let's take the Capitol! Take the Capitol! Take it. Well, the goal of the day is to present the evidence that makes clear that Donald Trump is an insurrectionist. Ethan Strimling is the former mayor of Portland and a political analyst for News Center Maine. On this day, he was a member of the coalition challenging the former president's name being on the primary ballot. He cites the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, barring people who incite insurrection from holding office. You know, there's a man who's running for president who doesn't believe in our Constitution who tried to overturn an election. On the other side, Scott Gessler, who is an attorney for the Trump team, who argues since the former president has not been found guilty for his alleged role on January 6, this should not even be a question. This is such a weak case that this is tantamount, it is basically election interference. People should have the right to vote for President Trump or the right to vote against him if they don't want to, but they should have the right to vote for him. And not only here in Maine, the same challenges are also being made in 30 other states. Many of them are still pending. The Secretary of State's office tells me that they hope to have much of the in-person hearing done by the end of Friday with the hope of having evidence and rebuttals submitted on Monday and Tuesday of this following week with the final decision of if the former president will be on Maine's Republican primary ballot. They hope to have that decision come out by Friday the 22nd. We're here in Augusta, Jack Mulmud, News Center, Maine.